Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish, and welcome back to another modding tutorial. In the previous episode, we looked at item properties, and in this tutorial today, we're going to be looking at adding, adding in armor. So this is going to be a part one of probably three parts, unfortunately, uh, because armor is a little bit more time-consuming to actually add. Um, but anyway, we're going to get straight into this. So uh, what we need to do is we need to create another one like this, but instead of tool material, it's going to be armor material. And what you want to do is you want to type in public static final item armor dot armor material. And then we're going to call this variable name cheese armor material. Now I am, um, I use UK slash Australian spelling or whatever like that, so... I would have a U in the armor there. If you're American, obviously you wouldn't have that in there. Um, and then we're going to do space equals new enum helper helper dot add armor material. So the first argument we're going to put in is just a name. So we're going to do cheese armor material. Uh, we'll just keep it the same. So get rid of the U. Um, and then we got durability. So this is whatever, so up here we've got 2000 durability for the tools. Uh, we might make this again quite powerful, so we might do 5000. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, that's a lot. Um, this reduction amount has got to be a um, an int array, so what we're going to do is type in new int. Actually, do we go to type in int? No, I don't think we go to do. No, we don't. Um, so new int, and then do two square brackets, and then do two squiggly brackets. And inside of here is we're going to have three value or four values, and you want to separate each one by a comma. Um, and we'll get to that in a second. And then enchantability, I'm just going to set that to 30. Not entirely sure what it does, but um, it works. Okay, so we do got to type in new int here, so make sure you put a new in front of that int there. So these four values are the um, damage values that it will take from your armor when you actually get hit instead of taking it from your health. So um, this first value is for the helmet, the second one's for the chest plate, the third one's for your legs, and then the, the last one is for your boots. So if I say, if I put 10 on here, it's going to take 10 damage off the helmet, but it's not gonna, um, it's gonna reduce, it's gonna basically, um, stop my health from going down. Um, it, it kind of tells you how strong it actually is. So if I did one, um, it's only gonna save me half a heart of damage, and then the rest is still gonna be dealt to me. Um, so make sure you get something even. The default ones, if I just get this up here, I've got a little... I was looking at a tutorial on... Um, uh, well, kind of, it's, it's, it's a tutorial, but it's telling me what the uh, actually arguments are. I'm not copying the tutorial. Um, so it's basically... So basically the default is um, 2, 7 five and three so the helmet is not that strong the chest plate is quite strong so protecting seven um, five is pretty good because we've got the legs that's protecting a lot and then three is the boots now we're actually going to change this because I want to make it quite OP armor um, <laughs> 20 20 30 um, 25 we might do 15 for the boots so that's quite strong armor, and that's why you need a high durability because um, it will, I think it will take 20 durability off each time. So you've got to be careful what you set these values to here and your durability up there. So uh, yeah, that's it for the armor material. Now we've actually got to create some new items. So we'll go up here. I want to create some spaces in between our just normal items and our tools up here. And inside of there, we're going to do public, static. I think you can just do it like this. Item. Then you will type in public, static, item. And then obviously cheese, helmet, helmet. And I'm just going to copy that line. 
because it's going to be easier. Cheese helmet, chest plate, leggings, and last one is booties. Oopsie, boots. <laughs> I was about to type booties. Um, so create those items and then down here, create some space in between our sword, our stuff there. And then obviously we're going to do cheese, um, cheese helmet. We're going to just copy and paste that equals new item cheese helmet. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to do something a little bit different because some of you guys can't seem to highlight over this and go create class um, and then sometimes it doesn't extend it right so what we're going to do is we're going to go up here click this new class button and then in this package bit here add dot item on the end because we've already created this package and we want the item to actually go inside of it then the name what we're going to do is we're going to copy this name from here so item cheese helmet item cheese helmet and then for the super class here, what you want to do is click browse and then type in item armor. Double click on that and then press finish. Actually, uh, constructors from the super class. No. Okay. Yep, don't do anything else. Just click finish. And then just highlight over this. Add constructor. And then we can close that off. Now, this is very very bad but what we're going to do is we're going to change this around so for that one we're going to call this armor material this next one here we're going to call this render index oops render index and then the last one I'm not entirely sure what it does but we're just going to call it uh, we're just going to call it I and then you'll need to change these down here so armor material pop it into that first one there, render index, copy that, pop it into the second one, and then put I into that last one there. So go ahead, press save. Oh yeah, I know what this um, one is, don't worry, it's the armor type. So I'll just call it armor type. And then replace that I with armor type. So we go back to our tutorial mod class and what we get to do is add some arguments into here. So the first one we want to do is copy this cheese armor material up here, put it in. The next one is the render index. Now um, I'm pretty sure we just type in... Oh, this one's hard. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we're going to type in here. What we're going to do is we're just going to type in 0 for there, um, and we'll get back to that later on. And then the last one, what we're going to do is uh, type in 0, because this is the first one in here. So we've got, we got 20, 30, 25, 0, but this is actually 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. And then the first one here is the helmet, so that's, that's 0 here. So we'll type in 0 there. And then... Uh, we'll need to import this as well because we haven't imported it, so highlight over it. Actually, press Control, control Shift 0 and that will automatically do it. Then we're going to do this for the rest, so we're just going to simply copy, do that for the new line, and then we'll change that second one to chest plate. And then we've got leggings, boots. Then we'll need to create some new classes. So uh, change this cheese helmet here to cheese chest. Uh, what we're actually going to do here is I'm going to change this around actually. I think we can do this a better way. What we're going to do is go up here, create a new class, and we'll call this item cheese armor. Then for the super class here, click browse, item armor, double click on that. And then up here for the package, do item add dot item to the end there, click finish and then highlight over this, add constructor and we're just going to copy this from over here close that off now and pop that there then obviously um, rename that helmet part there to armor and then that will be all fixed and go back to tutorial mod 
and what we're going to do is change this item cheese helmet here to item cheese armor and then import it control shift O and then we're going to copy that and pop it onto the rest of them here that's just a lot better actually in my opinion we didn't need to create separate ones for all of them and if we just come over here delete item cheese helmet or whatever you have called it and then what we want to do is just increment the values at the end here so um, for the second one put one for this third one put two and then this last one put three Now what I want you guys to do is the normal thing, so we need to set the unlocal unlocalized name, set the texture name, and then set the creative tab. So you want to do that now, and you should know how to do it if you followed my previous tutorials. Then you want to register the items. Now if you've got an error up here, simply just press Control shift o and that will fix that up, because we deleted um, the class from over here. And then you want to add your names to your lang file, so we simply do that real quickly. So item, item, cheese, helmet, dot name, you should know how to do this. So once you've done all that, what you need to do is create some textures. Now I've got a template which you guys can again use, so I'll just bring it up real quickly. Um, let's go desktop here, um, where is it? new folder. So I've created some simple textures here so I've just zoomed in on them. We've got some boots, we've got a chest plate, a helmet and then we've got some leggings. So we're going to put them into the game and again I'll give you guys this template which you can copy. So we can simply just highlight over them and if we just go over to our package explorer over here, items and then what we can do is simply just drag them over here highlight over items, press OK and they're in game now, press run and our items should be loaded into the game if you followed all the steps and if you go into our creative tab as you can see we've got our lovely cheese armor set here so we're going to grab them all out and oopsie I was testing something just before just to make sure that it did work. Uh, so if we go ahead and put our armor on now, now there's some weird inventory glitch which is annoying, uh, but it's been in Minecraft for ages. You'll see that um, we've basically got leather armor on, but it's like just nothing. Um, this is going to be fixed. This is just the first part of the tutorial today. So as you can see, we got our beast armor, and if you go into game mode S, and we uh, actually we'll get out some mobs, game mode C. I'll show you how powerful this shit is. Um, get that out. Actually, bad idea. Bad idea. Go down here. Okay. We'll just stick some light down real quickly. Light, 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 light. Where are you, light? Why does torch is always going to be in the worst spot? It's not a decorative block. Okay, so we'll just place a bunch of these down. Game mode S. Oh, shit. Okay. This is not turning out how I wanted to do. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Not how I wanted it. Not how I wanted it. Not that. Not how I wanted this to go! And you can see how powerful my armor actually is. Look, I'm not taking any any damage at all. This is crazy. Now, I'm just going to press F3H, and what this is going to do is allow me to display... Whoa, what, what the... Whoa, that's really powerful. Holy crap. I did 55,000 durability. Oh god. I'm getting raped, guys. I can see you'd be very trapped if there was multiple skeletons. Die! Feast on your own! 
Oh, I know. I need an arrow. I need an arrow. Yes, got him. So you can see how powerful um, this armor actually is. I didn't know it was going to be that powerful. But yeah, there you go, guys. So that's part one to this tutorial. In the next one, we're going to go over um, probably setting the renders. And then the last one is going to be the crafting recipes. So make sure you look out for them. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.